Hello everyone, I am Sonali. Here you will learn the real life applications of data structure. Let's start. Online examination. This is the example of online examination. In this exam, there is a 10 question from 1 to 10. You can directly click on any question and you can attend the any question. Here is the question 1 of 10. You can directly access the file with the question and you can use it. You can access the any question from available question, but it is difficult to add the question in between because you need to shift all the elements by one. Insertion and deletion text are extra overhead, but you can access the any element. This is the application of array. Question of link list. When we are using the any photo viewer for images, see at that time there are the two buttons. This is the previous one and this is next one. We are using this next one. When we are using this only, the next one, at that time we are using the single link list to go to the next one. And when we are using this one, see the previous, at that time we are using the double link list to go to the previous one and go to the next one we are using this. When we are using these two buttons, at that time use of double link list. Of linking. This is one more application. When we are browsing, at that time there is a previous, see in this corner, previous and next button. Just click on the previous. So you can go to the previous link. Previous page. When you are clicking on a next, then you can go to the next. Till what? Till the end of uh, this uh, list, end of pages, you can go, you can click on this forward or you can click on this back button till the start of this page. See, till this you can go back. See, here is the end of your link list and this is the next one. Application of text. When we are using the some formatting or something on the document, suppose I have first increased the size of this then after this color highlighting color for this part and after this for this two lines and changing the font color from here okay see so these are the three different operations when we are using this undo comma it will first see these are the three different actions these all are stored on a stack one after the other all are stored inside the stack. So when we are clicking on a undo, so most currently operation it will first remove the most currently operation. This one, then when we are again clicking on a undo, the next one, then again we are clicking on this, this last thing first out. It's the use of what stack. See, when again we are clicking on this, you see the now your stack is empty okay this is the use of stack application of stack similarly you can use the pen when you are using the pen see this is your first stage and then after that you have given this shape then see this after this this okay and when you are clicking on a undo see when we are clicking on this first operation is what see this is your first okay this is your first then this is your second shape then this is third one this is fourth one operation but when you are clicking this undo at that time see, see, then this is last section after this this then next this last so the operation is the sequence is last in first out okay it will remove the most currently operation last in first out this is the application of stack application of queue see this is the queue for the admission so the first person will get the admission first and it will remove from this queue this is the application of queue and also check the one more application just press Alt, Control, Delete on your system. You will get this window, Task Manager. Select the Windows Task Manager. 
here is the different processes see here is the application and this is the processes inside the processes this is the cpu scheduling here is a different task different processes running on your computer here we are using the queue we are maintaining the queue of different processes on your system of three. When we are using the file system, at that time, here is the computer, is the root. In this computer, there are the different folders. Suppose this is the child one, first, the second, and the third one. When you are selecting the one of these children, then see, when you are selecting the one branch, suppose the local disk, see, inside this, there is a number of branches. When we are selecting the any branch from this, suppose we are selecting this branch. Inside this, again there are the folder. This is the branch. And then when we are selecting the specific folder inside this, this is the folder. Inside this folder, there is a different again folder. So when we are clicking on this, see here is. See after this, there is a no any folder. So these are the list nodes having the parent. See? Okay, these are the list having the parent C so C workshop so then C workshop having a parent B and the main root of this is the computer. This is the application of everyone know the Google Map. Everyone are using this Google Map. See, just we are entering the source and destination in this and just click on the map to see this. Here source is Pune and we want to go to the Baramati. Okay, this is our destination. You can choose the any destination. Okay, just see here, time required is 2 hours 14 minutes and the kilometer 115 kilometer. Just double click on it and you can just change the path of this. Okay, you can change. Suppose you want to change the route from this to this side. Okay. Then at that time the earth is changing and the distance is also changing. So we, we can use here the shortest path algorithm. Okay, you can use a different algorithm for the graph and you can find out the minimum distance okay, and minimum time to reach from Pune to Baral. This is the application of graph.